try VOD Burner next. This one, in some ways, has the most potential and fails to live up to that potential uh, splendidly. It just, just doesn't seem to work. So, I'm going to come into VOD Burner. Hit OK. Uh, it gives me some warnings because it sees some of the other products installed. It really doesn't want you to have anything else installed. Um, I did install it first before I hit anything else, and it worked just as poorly as uh, you'll probably see in this demo. Unless it proves me wrong, I'd love to see it prove me wrong. Um, it says Bob Burner needs to restart Skype. Go ahead and quit Skype and, and uh, let it kind of do its thing. Okay, so, so this is the interface. It shows a couple different things. It uh, allows you to go to Skype. It shows some call recording options. You'll notice it shows the current state. It's not recording. Uh, it means this side and the other side. So that's my video on this side and the other video uh, from whatever other computer might come in. Uh, I would mention that I have actually recorded more than two computers with this but this hasn't always been reliable. Sometimes when it shows me that it's bringing in video from another computer, it actually doesn't record it. Um, I can look at previous calls, take a look at the disk space on my computer, which normally you wouldn't think would be that important. However, this does, uh, this does record in raw files, and the file sizes it eats up to record anything is relatively massive. I think many gigabytes. I think since I've installed this program, I've eaten up about six gigabytes recording just a few seconds of video. So, uh, there are some other options. I can configure, start VodBurner when Windows starts. I'm going to turn that off. I can show the call window whenever a call starts. Start minimized. I can pick a default template, although for post production, it doesn't really allow me to do anything there. I'm not sure what it would take. Uh, I can record direct MT to MP4, however, I can't edit. And I want to show you the editing capability. There's no editing capability with VodBurner when you use MP4 not within its editing program. You can kick it out to some other system if you like, and it gives you the folder for it's going to record things. So hit OK. Go back to call recording. Uh, make my video call. Accept that call. Okay, I could send a message that we're recording. Don't get in legal trouble or anything like that. And with this one, uh, you'll notice it, it automatically started recording. Uh, and um, you can see that there's actual video there. It's been my experience that even though it shows it's recording, it doesn't mean it really is. Okay, I muted the other side. Uh, there's still video going on over there. But I'm going to stop this discard what had been recorded so far because I want to make sure that this is actually getting something. I don't know if this will help, it's just a theory I have. So I'm going to hit record now. You can see, moving around, we've got actual video going on. There's one red bar showing that there's some sort of activity going on. So I'm going to hit stop. And I'm going to hit keep this, keep the recording in pause. Hang up my Skype call. And then I want to make sure you see this. A little pop-up shows up. Uh, all these little pop-ups are like something created in Visual Basic from the 90s. Uh, but uh, they can click this button and view and edit the recording. Now, if it works, it would be awesome. If it doesn't work, whatever. Um, I've got some options here to display the video if it's actually there this side, which would be my computer, the other side being the other webcam's computer, if it actually captured it. I can do both sides or I can skip or I can reverse the order. Now, this is the editor. You'll wonder why it's all black, and the answer is it didn't work. No video recorded. Uh, not from my side, not from the other side. Uh, I've seen it record one side and not the other. I've seen it, and sometimes that side's mine, sometimes it's the other one. But uh, in this case, didn't record either side. Uh, there's some. This is a very minimal editing software program. Would be very useful 
if you could actually see what was happening here, there would be, if it had both videos, there would be a split, and you'd see one video on the left and one video on the right, and you could kind of trim the video a little bit. Uh, you could add other uh, videos, you could in insert some other video that you previously recorded, or a picture or something like that, and mix it into the video. Uh, but uh, this would be for very, very basic video editing. But in this case, it didn't capture anything, so you can't really work with nothing. And that's kind of been my experience with VileBurner. I've seen it work twice. I've tried to, attempted to uh, use it, make it work uh, probably ten times so far. And each time I've come up with zip.